Welcome to today's video, where I'm going to be showing you a new potential use case for ChatGPT in project management. Now I've been exploring the tool and trying to find ways to automate some of my tasks and to speed up some of my processes. And I'd like to share with you today one of my new favorite ones. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use ChatGPT to create presentations. Now, before I begin, do bear in mind that I am going to be using the GPT-4 model that is currently only available to those on the paid plan. So if you are new to ChatGPT or just have kind of a standard plan, do consider that you will be using the 3.5 model and your results may be slightly different. So I just wanted to caveat the video there, but let's delve into this video and how we can actually build really kind of useful presentations for uh, different stakeholders, whether they are clients, whether that, or whether it's kind of internal stakeholders. So what I like about doing this, and one of the reasons why I use ChatGPT for this is not only can we create the presentation, but it gives us ideas on what we should be including as well. And it helps us to identify any gaps in what we've kind of pulled together already. So it is a useful exercise and it's why I would recommend that you keep watching to the end because you may learn something that you may not be doing even if you've been creating these for, for many years. So I'm gonna show you the starting prompt and then from there we'll kind of build it out and I'll show you how to do it most effectively. So I am a project manager working on a technology upgrade project I want to create a PowerPoint presentation. And actually just gonna stop one second, just to say that um, I will drop this, oh, that's not a presentation. I will drop this um, prompt into the description down below so you can copy and paste it. But I'm also gonna be talking about the different aspects that you can change to make it more um, applicable to your particular use case. So I'll do that at the end of this prompt, but let me just finish it first. So I want to create a PowerPoint presentation to update external clients on project progress. Pro um, provide a list of slide titles I should include to, uh, uh, for, sorry, for, include, for, uh, a useful PowerPoint presentation to ensure the client is effectively updated. Only include the slide titles. Now, there's a little bit to break down first here. Um, firstly, this is a very, very high level prompt and we're gonna be building out from it. So obviously what we're just looking for here is the slide titles and I'll show you why in a moment. But as you can see, there's a few aspects that I could, that I would recommend that you may, you may want to adapt for your own needs. So firstly, I'm doing this for, for the demo purposes for a technology upgrade program, but you may want to put, add, put in here, you know, a finance project. It could be, you know, an internal resource project. You know, you get the idea, you can change it uh, to what suits your needs. You could even put uh, working in the finance industry as an example, or the, you know, the construction industry, just some context to help ChatGPT kind of understand um, some of the context of, of what you're doing and, and it may give you different results. So just, just you know, consider that. Um, again, I've put PowerPoint, that's the um, tool of choice here, but you may want to update this to a different tool. It could be, um, you know, it could be Mac, for instance. Sorry, there's my Grammarly kicking in. Um, it could be my, it could be a, a different application, uh, presentation application. So you could update that here, um, but I'm being very specific. I'm doing it for external clients, but you could also do it for internal clients. So you could do, um, you could put in here, say the team leads, or you could put in senior management. Again, project progress is the purpose of this presentation, but it may be that your presentation is covering something else. Again, you could put that in here. So, but this is the overall prompt. We're gonna hit enter, and we're gonna see what chat GPT gives us. So, just let it finish. So here we go. So it's given us over 17 different potential slides, or 20 slides, which if we just quickly review some of these, 
Some of them look absolutely fantastic. Um, but it might be overkill. It actually might, there might be too much in here uh, for this particular use case. So you do need to review these. And for instance, um, I don't know if this is one we'd want to maybe have in the call or the presentation, shall we say. So yeah, that's something we could get rid of. So we could get rid of this. So do consider that you don't need to use all of these. Just, I'm going to for the purpose of this demo, but you don't need to include everything. So bear that in mind. So once we've got our list, what we can then do is we can say something like, please, actually, before we do that, this is the next step. I would suggest you do this as the next step. So I'm going to, uh, okay, one second. Please rewrite, I didn't realize I was gonna put it in quotation mark. Please rewrite the above without quotation marks. And I'm actually gonna put it in like that. Here we go, okay, this is what we wanted. We didn't want the quotation marks because we don't want that included in the slide. And it just saves us having to remove it out in the next step. So that's a little tip there. You can kind of, if you get something you don't want, you can literally ask the tool to do it for you, you know, remove it. So it's just giving us the same list. So I'm pressing Control C and I'm going into Microsoft Word and I'm gonna press, well, Control V, uh, I could press Control V, but I don't want the formatting. So I'm clicking the paste drop down, and then we want to keep the text only. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to click View and we want to click Outline. Now on all of these, we want to change these from body text to level one. And that's because we want these to be the slide titles. So that's really, really useful. So again, you may only choose some of these. I'm gonna put them in bold as well. You know, you might not need all of these, but this is the process that you would take, should I say. So let's, well, now we've done this, we can go file, save as, and now you just need to save it as something that's memorable. So um, client PowerPoint. And I'm gonna save that, sorry, in there. So that's done. Now all we need to do is if we open up a blank PowerPoint presentation, if you click, or you should be on the home ribbon, if you then click on new slide, slides from outline, then select that file you've just created. Oh, it's saying I can't do it because it's already open in another application, so I need to close this down first. So let's do that again. Slides from outline, client PowerPoint and it should load, and you should find that we have our new slide. So that was quite a quick way of getting all these kind of slides populated, considering there's 21. So that's the first step. Then from here, you could do something like design, and then you could um, choose one that kind of suits your organization's um, uh, kind of theme or, 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 or branding, I should say. I'm gonna go with, let's have a look for one that looks quite professional. Uh, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Uh, we'll just go. F None of these are particularly taking my fancy at the moment. Yeah, this one's okay. So here we go. We've added, we've added this. I mean, it's not ideal, but I'm just trying to show you how you can quickly format it using the design functionality of PowerPoint. You may not even want to do this. You may want to kind of explore all the other options as well. I think if you click on, sorry to kind of go off track a bit here, Design isn't actually the the, pur the purpose or you know what we're interested in at the moment per se, but you're building a you're building a PowerPoint, so it's going to be quite important. Um, so yeah, let's leave it let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. What you can then do at this stage, we've got this. This is the basis of our presentation. At this point, this is where it gets quite cool. Uh, this is what I'm liking at the moment. So this prompt is really really useful. So what you can do is you could then say, let's have a look at some of these actually. Let's see what one would make sense. So here we go. Let's go with slide three. Please create, always be polite, please create the slide. Actually, no, 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 no. Let, let's, 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 let's prime the tool first. That's probably more ideal. So please provide an overview of what we should include in the, let's go with this one, work completed to date slide. It's kind of obvious really, but let's just see what ChatGPT says. Because from here, I'm gonna be putting in a future prompt that's gonna really, really help us. So this is priming the tool for our next prompt, by the way. So even if you know what you want to include, sometimes just asking the tool to do it will then help your future prompts. So this looks great, of course, but this prompt is where you take it to the next level. Create the work completed to date slide including the above in tabular form. 
enter. So it's putting it in SQL, which is really, really interesting. Um, and it's actually given us data. I'm actually, so I'm gonna stop generating. So this is a good example of sometimes the tool does not play ball. So I'm actually gonna just, what you can do is stop it and then you can give it a new prompt and see if that helps. Or you can sometimes just regenerate and sometimes it works. So create the work completed date slide in tabular form. Certainly, okay. This is better. This is better. I know this is better already. This is what we were looking for. So that's another little tip there. Don't put up with what the tool sometimes gives you. Challenge it, ask it to redo it. If it's not what you want, then be sure to ask it again. So here's the tabular form. And this is what I really, really like. If you remember at the beginning, technology upgrade project. So if you put something in there that's really specific, this is where it can get really, really interesting because it's actually given us examples. And it's even given us, you know, these may, be, these may even be applicable depending on how specific you are. If you actually gave the tool all the data it needs from the outset. But let's just, what I'm trying to show you here is the process rather than the, the, the content per se. So all you need to do now is select this, select this um, table, control C, now go back into our presentation. We can find the slide it's, it pertains to, and now we can just go paste and so I've pasted the table in. So I've done that using the first use destination. Th oh, sorry, there's a couple of options. You could press you could press Control V, and it's going to keep the destination formatting. You could press um, keep source format. Oh no, sorry. The first one I did was the source formatting. You can keep the destination theme, and you can also no, you wouldn't want to keep the text only. There's also paste special, so you could probably do it as a no, that's our only options. But still, what you get, what I'm trying to get get at here is how you can quickly build out these effective tables, which you're probably going to want to have in your presentation. So from here, all you would then do, obviously, is just play around with the formatting. So here, I might want this as some kind of. I want to change the text. I want this to be in this one, and I want this to be bigger than the you know below, and I want this to be kind of. Um, I want this to have some kind of background color. Uh, let's see where that is. Let's, what's this one? I don't know where the background's gone. Right click maybe. Right click and uh, format shape and fill. You know, no fill, solid fill. You can change everything here. Um, we don't want it in green, that looks a bit silly. But you get the idea. What I'm trying to show you is how you can quickly, and then you could obviously update each one or, you know, once it's in there. But what I'm trying to show you is how you can quickly build presentations with ChatGPT. And I'm a massive fan of this, this um, tabular form uh, addition to the prompt because it just gives it in this really, really useful um, uh, formatting. You don't have to do that. You could say something like, um, let's go back as to the example. We could say, um, create, uh, show, oh, sorry. Please provide the content for the Da, 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 slide. Again, it's an example. I don't know what the tool's gonna spit out. It could be really effective. It could be a load of junk. That's half of it. But you, you, get, you get the idea here. It's all about experimenting with the tool and it's all about kind of giving it future prompts to build out your template as quickly as possible. And it's also about giving you different ideas and essentially trying to save you time. Because as we know, that is the most one of the most important resources, particularly if you're a project manager, as you probably don't have much of it. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you head over to my channel, you'll notice I've got plenty of other videos just like this, um, which may benefit you, ranging from using ChatGPT for creating different artifacts, all the way through to project management methodologies, processes, and just training in general. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.